It's been an awesome service, Sister Glory, and all the saints. I love y'all. Let's y'all go to the Acts 17 28. And while you're turning to Acts 17 28, I'm going to be praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm so glad that you're in the house, God. So glad that your spirit is here. So glad, God, that you gave us an awesome, dynamic angel of the house, Dr. Rivers. You're kind of being our shepherd. Under his tutelage for many years, God, I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. I bless you, Father. I'm glad that you chose all of us. Glad that you saved all of us. And I'm glad that you're still working on all of us. Teach us how to love, Lord. Your spirit and not my flesh. Thank you for grace on one side and mercy on the other. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Put those blessed hands together for the Lord. Acts 17, 28. For in him we live and move and have our being. As certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. We're all related, child. We're all kin people in the body of Christ who would say, we no longer can mistreat one another. Going into 2023, I decree that we love one another that Christ loved the church. The title of the word, you got to find Jesus in every season. Look at your neighbor. Tell your other neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to find Jesus in every season. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, and I'm going to preach fast as I can. Hallelujah. St. Luke, the evangelist, is the one that wrote the book of Acts. Jesus, Sister Adam, has never been lost. If we're lost, we need to find Jesus today because Jesus has never been blind. And if we're blind by Satan today, we need to see the way Jesus wants us to see. We need to put on our God glasses as Pastor always tells us. Stop looking at things through the flesh. Get saved, get healed, get delivered, get set free from all of this demonic activity in the world. Tell your neighbor, said neighbor, you got to find Jesus in every season. We are the children of the Most High Evangelist. Let's go back to the beginning in Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The heaven and the earth still belongs to God today. God is sovereign, Reverend. He can do what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, when he gets ready to do it, with any being, without our permission, Sister Tosha. He don't need our permission to do anything. When pastor had preached, let us, God had done nothing wrong when he let us die. God don't make mistakes. And when God calls us out of here, it's time to go. He is the top supreme ruler of every season, no matter what it is. And I'm going to get into the word. In every season, we have the light, we have the darkness, we have the morning, we have the noon, we have the evening, we have the night, we have the sky, we have the waters, we have the heavens, we have the moon. We have the stars, we have the clouds, we have wetland, we have dry land, we have the earth, we have the grass, we have the seeds, we have the fruits, we have the earth, we have the signs, we have the seasons, we have the days, we have the years, we have the greater light we, to rule the day, we have the lesser light to rule the night, the waters for the moving of the creatures, we have the fowl of the air, we have the great whales, the least, we have the living creatures, we have the cattle, we have the creepy things, and we also have the beast of the earth, Mother Cherub. The Bible says in Genesis 1, 26, and God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle and over all the earth, and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. And the Bible tells us, let us away in 1 and 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Genesis 2 and 7, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Tell your neighbor, said neighbor, you got to find Jesus in every season. You got to find Jesus in every region. You got to find Jesus in everything that's going on around us. In Genesis 2, 20 through 22, and Adam gave names to all the cattle, and to the fowl of the earth, to every beast of the field. 
But for Adam, that was not found, and he'll be for him. And the Lord God called a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Tell your neighbor, said neighbor, you got to find Jesus in every season. We don't have to wait until we get a holiday. We don't have to wait till we get a birthday. You don't have to wait till somebody values something. You don't have to be waiting to look for something because your gift is already here. Jesus is the reason for the season. You don't have to wait till the day that you were born. Your day cannot compare to the day that Jesus was born, but today is Jesus' birthday. So to find Jesus is the reason in the season, you've got to look for him in every season. He is the reason, the Lord, for all seasons. Look for him in the winter when the snow and ice is on the ground. Look for him in the springtime when the wind is blowing your hair everywhere. Look for him in the summer when you can hear the bumblebee humming. Look for him in the fall when the trees are standing tall and the different colored leaves begin to fall. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to find him in every season. Let me tell us why we got to find him evangelist in Jesus in every season. Because guess what? Sin is in every season. Let me say it one more time. Sin is in every season. See, the flesh entertains sin. Sin is in every season, number one. We can never let sin outdo Jesus. Jesus conquered all sin on the cross at Calvary. Sin is of darkness which carries no light. Acts 17, 28. For in him we live, minister, we move, and we have our being. And he let us live, he let us move. We have our being into doing whatever it is we want to do. But you got to find Jesus in this season because he is the reason. The Bible says in Romans 6 and 12, Let no sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey in the lust thereof. Neither ye yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God. Tell them to say, yield yourself unto God. That there are alive the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God, for sin shall not have dominion over us. For you, it says you in the Bible, and I'm saying us. Because we all got something that we're dealing with. Because sin is in every season. So that's why in every season, you got to look for Jesus in every season. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to look for Jesus. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but you're under grace. Number two, sickness is in every season. Do you believe what I'm saying on this morning, this afternoon? Sickness in every season, Lord. The COVID-19 pandemic been in the season. The monkeypox been in the season. The respiratory virus infection been in the season. The flu been in the season. But we got to look for him because he let us live. He let us move. He let us have our being. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. The Bible says in Isaiah 53 and 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. And that was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. God can heal us on this side, y'all, or he can heal us completely on the other side, eternally. Say your neighbor, say neighbor, you got to look for Jesus in the season. I told you that sin is in every season. I told you that sickness is in every season. And guess what else is in every season? Satan is stealing and killing and then destroying in every season. St. John says 10 and 10. The, the thief cometh not but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. He said that I come that I might have life and have that life more abundantly. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to find Jesus in every season. You got to look for Jesus in everything. Look for God in everything. I don't care if it's good, bad, or ugly. You got to find Jesus in every season. The Bible tells us to get to seek him to stand. First of all, we got to seek him in the Bible. Matthew 6, 33. You're going to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. So stop worrying about this stuff being added, because if you do what he says, he's going to add it to us. Second, you're going to praise him. You're going to praise him. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm going to praise him. The Bible tells us to give praise in every season. Look at Psalm 145 and 2. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Whether I'm, I have joy, whether I'm sad, whether I'm up, whether I'm down, whether I got it, whether I don't got it, 
We got to learn how to see Jesus in every season. Paul told us in the Bible, just after in Philippians 4, 11 and 12, he says, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I'm in, that we to be content. Be content. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I am instructed both to be poor and to be hungry, both to be about and to suffer need. So we got to learn how to endure some things. You're not going to endure things all the time, but when hard things come against you, you still got to look for Jesus in the season. Because you cannot be here to acknowledge anything in the Lord. You got to learn how to look at God in everything. Look at Him when the sun is shining. Look for Him when the sun is not shining. Look for when it's not raining. Look for when it is raining. Look for when storms on the ground. Look for when ice is on the ground. You got to look for Jesus in every season. I told you we're going to seek him first. We're going to praise him second. Then we're going to thank him third. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Whether we understand the time, the season, the situation or not, you've got to look for Jesus in every season. Tell your neighbor, said neighbor, look for Jesus in every season. I promise you, he is there. And he's waiting to be found by us. Even though he was the prophet. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. What I say, you're going to seek him, you're going to praise him, and you're going to thank him in every season. How many know that obedience is better than sacrifice? Let me tell you about three people and we wrap it up. Hallelujah. Three who found Jesus in every season. David was a praiser and a worshiper. In his good times, Sister Adam, in his bad times, in his blessed times, in every season, David looked for Jesus. He looked to praise and magnify the name of the Lord. Tell them, said, neighbor, I want to be somewhere like David. Let me tell you about these things. David's own son, Prince Absalom, put a hit out on David's body. This made David's glory be cut off from going to the sanctuary to be able to praise and magnify God. But David wasn't focused on that in Psalm 63. David had been cut off from the sanctuary to worship God. He still had a heart that longed to praise and worship God. So you got to find Jesus in every season. When you can't get here, call somebody to give you a ride. God don't make up excuses. We do. Look for Jesus in every season. When your gas tank is on E, ask somebody to bless you. They'll bless you. We know about cash out. Somebody that love you wants you to have some gas in your car so you can get to church. A devil won't give you nothing, but God will give you everything. David was focused on blessing the name of the Lord. He longed for God. His mind was not on the hit on his life. He wasn't even worried about his son coming up against him, sister Adam. Absalom wanted to kill his own dad. David was focused on our heavenly father. David was focused on Jesus. You don't just be strong because you're on the mic. You got to be strong when you're not on the mic. You got to be strong when there ain't nothing in the cover. You got to be strong when there ain't no money in the bank. You got to be strong when ain't nobody bringing a bag of groceries back. Let me tell you an inside joke, and I'm almost done. I got two more points. I heard an old man say, when you're going through some stuff, he said, make sure you're a survivor. Here this minute, Sam. Get you a glass of water and get you a loaf of bread. And I'm using it because I got it from my sister. The man said, drink you some water, eat you some bread. Drink you some water, eat you some bread. When you get tired, eat you some bread, drink you some water, eat you some bread. Drink you some water. Did you get it? When you get tired of the water, eat your bread first. When you get tired of the bread, drink your water first. You got to learn how to see Jesus in every seat. I told you, David, look for him in every seat. Everybody know about Job looking for him in every seat. Job lost everything, y'all. Job lost his family. Job lost all of his material possessions. Job said in the Bible, the word says in chapter 1, and he said, Naked came I out from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return to The Lord gave, and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Joseph prayed for his friends, and God gave him double for his trouble. 
You got to look for Jesus in every season. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, to everything there is a reason and a time and a purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up, that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to lay, a time to moan, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. And a time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to read and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Tell your neighbor to neighbor, we got to find Jesus in every season. Let me tell you about the lady named Mary. I told you David, look for Jesus in every season. I told you Job, look for Jesus in every season. And let me tell you about the woman named Mary that looked for Jesus in every season. Mary was the mother of Jesus. She experienced the immaculate conception when the Holy Ghost came upon her and she conceived the baby Jesus. Read about it in your time in Matthew chapter 1. 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus was on this wise. When his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for thou which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she bring, and she bring forth a son, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from all their sins. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interrupted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from the sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bid him, and took unto him his wife, and twenty-five, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Mary had every reason you got every reason to find Jesus in your season. She was chose, she was handpicked by God to bring forth the reason to find Jesus in every season. The Bible says in Acts 17, 28, and we're wrapping it up, for in him says that we live because Jesus lived. And because he lived, Tosha, we can face tomorrow. Tell your neighbor, said neighbor, and we move by the power and the Spirit of God in every season. Be led by the Spirit of God and not our flesh. And we have our being, y'all, because he allows us to have everything that we want and need according to the gospel of Jesus Christ. You got to find Jesus in every season. Put your hands together for the Lord. Over 42 generations, he walked upon the earth and becoming as a man. But at the same time, he was divine. He was tried and perfect in all folks. He was even tempted by the devil. But it did not fall for any other temptation. And I'm telling you all today, because he was and he lived and he died. And he brought you into the earth. You got to watch the mind Jesus in every season. Tell your neighbors and neighbors, don't be sad. Don't be weary in well doing. You gotta look for Jesus 